Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. So today I got Galaxy S20 Plus and I have uh, updated my mobile phone. Not officially, unofficially, but this ported ROM is ported from the Galaxy S21 Ultra, the flagship mobile phone for the flagship series S20 series. And uh, let me go to about phone to show that the model that I have is Galaxy S20 Plus and the model number is G985F. Currently, you will see that G998B because the ROM is ported from the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So the model number will get changed after flashing the uh, this ROM on the Galaxy S20 series. Must be Exynos chipset. We'll go to software information. You can check this out that I got Android version 14, One UI 6, right on Galaxy S20. The fingerprint scanner is working and uh, face unlocking working and uh, many things that more coming in the ROM working. Now, uh, let me show that uh, the camera application, not the camera application, the gallery, the picture like removing the background, AI image, etc, etc, also working with the ROM. And we are getting these features like remaster, portrait effects and object eraser. Yes, they are working and there are many more things coming with the ROM. I will provide everything in that video description. You must read the description first, then you can follow the steps to get this ROM. So we are getting the latest control center on One UI 6 on Galaxy S20. After all, you know that the S20 series is not getting One UI 6 officially update. You can still unlock the bootloader, flash the custom recovery and flash the this ported One UI 6 ROM for Galaxy S20 series. The One UI 6 latest features that are coming with One UI 6 is also on are also working on the Galaxy S20. This on this ported ROM, like connectivity labs. This connectivity labs not provided in the One UI 5, One UI 5.1, etc., etc. But still, we can get this connectivity labs after flashing the One UI 6 ported ROM on this mobile phone. There may be bugs. There may be because the ported ROM never be perfect it will have some minor bugs the rear camera portrait mode is not working but the portrait mode with the front camera working but there is a small amount of lag rest all the camera modes are working perfectly the dual camera video recording mode with the rear camera with the front camera working if you want to get install this rom on your mobile phone you have to watch this video follow the steps directly then i will show and i will tell and you can get the ROM on your mobile phone. So do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. If you are not, not a subscriber of my channel to watch these type of videos, you must subscribe it. Click or tap the bell icon, click or tap the select all. Thank you. Now starting the video. First of all, we have to unlock the bootloader. Your uh, mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked. Now in case if the mobile phone is updated to the latest security, like uh, which was which is released in fab 2024 then according to developer that samsung has made some changes with the latest security update the phone is not getting twrp recovery we cannot flash anything but if the phone is updated to the jan 2024 uh, security update that must be wl1 then we can flash anything so currently my mobile phone is updated to wl1 and i have flashed the rom but in case if the phone is updated to the last of the security update that must be fab 2024 xe1 then you can try let's see if you can get lucky and you can get the twrp recovery flash on the mobile phone but in case if you are having wl1 which was released in jan 2024 then you can go and you can flash the rom like just i did now this is the server website where the files are provided we will go to the roms folder where we can download the rom file this is the extreme rom one ui 6 for the s20 series and version is 3 then we'll go back and uh, go to the hot fixes and add-ons click on it and we have to download the extreme rom hotfix version 3.1 also and other things I would not prefer to download. We'll move towards the other website. This is the website for the routing matches and uh, come down here. Current whatever latest version is uh, provided, go for that. Currently is 27.0. Click on here. 
and other website will get open download the current updated version by clicking here right then we'll go to the play integrity fix website this one and current any updated version is available like currently 15.9.3 come down here and download it do not go for the oldest version it will not work now here is my downloaded folder where i have downloaded all the files a rom file the hot fix file the magis routing file Odin file link provided play integrity fix file and the samsung usb driver so if you are not having any samsung usb driver file installed on your windows then must download this file and install it first then download the twrp recovery file link provided and vb meta file ring link provided now here i would like to inform that if you are having galaxy s20 you have to download the s20 twrp recovery file i will provide the link in video description in like for example i have s20 plus so i have downloaded the s20 plus recovery file where the code name is y2s and in case if you are having S20 Ultra, you have to download the S20 Ultra TWRP recovery file. But the VB Meta file, this particular single file will work on S20, S20 Plus and S20 Ultra, right? Now, after downloading everything, we have to extract the Odin file first and then double click the uh, extracted folder and now coming back towards the mobile phone. Now, as I, men uh, as I mentioned before, everything about the, uh, the update, security update. Now, connect the internet on the mobile phone first. So, after connecting the internet on the mobile phone, then go back to the settings and go to software update and check download and install. Must check the download and install, I mean to say the software update for once, but must example if your set is like having wl1 and still the mobile phone will show that there is an update do not update your mobile phone from the wl1 to the higher version keep the mobile phone on wl1 currently now after checking the software update then you must go to the lock screen and turn off the screen lock by selecting the swipe then go to account and accounts and backup manage account then remove the google account first sync it then remove it and must remove the samsung account otherwise the mobile phone will not get the custom recovery if the samsung account is not removed from the mobile phone then go back and must save all the internal storage data this procedure will format everything and must check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum right now you can simply power off the mobile phone and here i would inform again that mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked now after mobile phone when gets totally power off check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer now we have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode press and hold the volume up key volume down key connect the cable with the mobile phone the mobile phone will boot into our warning screen release both keys and press the volume up key once and and the set will boot into Odin mode so the mobile phone is finally booted into Odin mode and also connected with the computer coming back towards the computer screen double click the Odin file and click ok on next window the Odin will get open so the mobile phone is connected so the Odin also detect the mobile phone added and this uh, means that uh, phone is connected properly with the more computer click on AP first then go to your downloaded folder and select the TWRP file according to the model but must be .tar click on it then click open and then click CP Go to your downloaded folder and this time select the vbmeta.tar clicking on it then click open then on the odin go to options untick the auto reboot go back to log and then click start the flashing of recovery will start it and will done when it show that succeeded one pass which means that recovery got flash click reset and click exit and go back to downloaded folder now coming back towards the mobile phone mobile phone still booted into Odin mode now we have to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery for booting the mobile phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode we have to press 
all keys like volume up volume down and power key when mobile phone reboots then release the volume down key first and when you see the logo then release the power key and when you, you, you when you see the custom recovery screen then release the volume up key starting the procedure pressing the all three keys at same time releasing the volume down key first now releasing the power key still holding press the volume up key just waiting when set boots into twrp then we'll release the volume up key so the custom recovery screen appears or uh, here on the screen first first thing you have to do is to tap wipe and tap format data type y e s tab here you can see the red lines now the things got okay go back to main screen tap reboot tap recovery team in recovery got appears once again tap settings that go to third menu i will uh, load the brightest little bit and will make the bright uh, screen time out to maximum i will go to the main screen now the internal storage got appears on the mobile on the computer screen sorry we'll go to the downloaded folder and we'll copy the rom file version 3 the rom hotfix file version 3.1 and the magis routing file from the downloaded folder and we'll go to the internal storage of the mobile phone we'll paste all three files on the internal storage of the mobile phone so the files got copied on the internal storage of the mobile phone now coming back towards the mobile phone screen tap wipe and tap advanced wipe select the delvic art cache data prism optics cache that's all and swipe done go back to main screen tap install select the rom file first the version 3.0 or i mean to say version 3 select first the rom file by uh, tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing now this flashing will take a time you we, uh, we have to wait here So the rom got flash now tap once back key to go back and this time select the hotfix 3.1 file by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing and when it is done then once again go back by tapping the back key once and then select the magic file for routing by tapping on it in case if you do not want to root your mobile phone you can simply go back to the main screen and tap reboot and then tap system so the phone will start booting to rom file but in case you want to make your device certified then we have to root the mobile phone so i will tap the routing file and i will swipe to start flashing when it is done then you can simply tap reboot system and you can see that the uh, samsung logo got changed now in the dvr we can see the new samsung galaxy logo on the mobile phone now the phone will start booting for the first time the one ui 6 rom on the mobile phone the first boot will take a little time Finally, first boot completed. I will complete the setup screen. So the ROM got flash very perfectly on the S20 Plus, and uh, now it's it is time to flash the routing file. First, I will go to settings to show that about phone model is S20 Plus. The model number got changed. We'll tap the software information and One UI 6 and White 14. ROM got flashed very perfectly and those who just root the routing file with custom recovery we have to install the routing file now coming back towards the computer screen so we have to copy the magis file once again and the play integrity fix file copy these both files from here and go to the internal storage of the mobile phone double click the internal storage and paste both files that i just copied from the downloaded folder on the internal storage we got the files you can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and we are done from the computer now go back to the menu then tap my files and uh, tap internal storage tap essentials select all scroll down 
tap the magis file to install it tap at settings then tap uh, allow permission and tap tap install and when it is done then you can tap open to open the magis application tap allow and read this your device needs additional setup of uh, for for magis to work properly do you want to proceed and reboot if you see this window you have to tap ok let the set boot in reboot once so the uh, phone got rebooted we'll go to menu then we'll tap the magis application to open it once again and this time again must read this your device needs to reflash the magis do not tap ok tap cancel every time when you see this window now on the magis application tap settings then scroll down and turn on the zygis here and go back and tap modules install from the storage then tap recent select galaxy s20 plus scroll down and select the play integrity fix module file and tap ok to install it when it is done then tap reboot so when the mobile phone got rebooted tap the magis application once again to open it tap cancel then go to modules just check the play integrity fix file if you see any update over here then tap the update and update the play integrity fix currently this is the updated version now go back and log in your gmail account first then after that go to settings and go to apps but remember log in your gmail account first go to apps and tap here and tap show system apps tap ok and search for p l a y select the google play store first then tap storage tap clear data delete then go back go back and search for again p l a y select this time google play services scroll down select storage and select clear data then clear all data delete and done if you open the play store the play store will get updated it will start soon and after that definitely you will see that device is certified and you can download the root and safety net checker to check the root and to check the safety net will show pass this is how to flash the one ui6 android 14 rom on the galaxy s20 s20 plus and s20 ultra do not forget to like the video keep sharing it if you are not a subscriber do not forget to hit the red color subscribe button take a good care of yourself we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye